For months, I chattered about the beings above me. I could point them out by name. When I was six, I stared out the window of my mom's car, eager button nose pressed up against the glass. Hundreds of sandhill cranes flew and spun and danced in the fields. For months afterwards, I carried binoculars around my neck and identified every bird I saw. When I was 10, my eager mind devoured books faster than ever, earning me approving glances from my teacher. Approval on the playground was not as easy to find. I listened as the boys chattered about jet engines and collected bug specimens. If I tried to join, I was met with cruel bewilderment. My friend asked me why I even tried. I didn't have anything in common with them anyway. Did I? One day, a boy put a cicada skin on my back to flirt with me or frighten me. I'm not sure which. I cradled it in my hand, asking if he knew that the insect that once wore the skin had spent years concealed underground before emerging to begin a new life. He rolled his eyes at me, and for the first time, I was ashamed of my own knowledge. When I was 12, the first grade I got below a 90% was in science class. And the boy who sat next to me, who consistently confused there, there, and there, told me, duh, girls can't do science. He thought it was because of my gender, but maybe it was because whenever I asked questions, my teacher would put, pat my arm and say, it's okay, sweetie. I know it can be hard to understand. And now, as a 16-year-old girl in the most educationally formative years of my life, if someone asks me if I like science, I automatically respond with a quake and a shudder, oh no, I'm not very good at it. But then I remember it was in science class that I learned that sound waves never stop. The chords struck by Brahms and Shostakovich are still making their way through space, and the promises I spoke out loud still exist, quavering in the deep sky. It was in science class that I learned that 90% of the elements of, that make up my body mass are created by stars. I am the universe expressed as a girl for only a short while. It was in science class that I learned that the center of our galaxy smells like raspberries, that my body makes 300 billion new cells a day just to keep me alive. I learned that dung beetles use the Milky Way to navigate, that houseflies always hum in the key of F, and that sea otters hold hands to keep from drifting away from each other while they sleep. It was in science class that I learned that the earth and the sky take care of each other, and I am here, part of it all. So when they tell me that it is okay that I don't understand, I will hear the words, but I will not take them to heart. I have spent years learning to think before I speak, or raise my hand. I have learned to question myself and despise my own knowledge. But when I gaze at the stars on a dark country night, or witness the sudden miracle of a flock of blackbirds, or when I see the old oak tree in my grandma's backyard stretching its limbs to the sky, I realize that the universe is so much bigger than people who tell me I can't understand. And I hear the galaxy whispering to me that I can't. Thank <laughs> you.